Nancy and welcome to another video with Lempies. Today we're doing let me have everything close to me. A little bit of a life update. What have I been up to the past few weeks? Yeah, and I will start by just setting my timer. Five. Eight. And yeah. So yeah, I'm also I have also some notes because you know I'm now about to pop in my hormones, my mind is all over the place. So you will be seeing me doing most of the videos now with a little bit of notes just to check where we are at and what is the next point I can can't can't really focus I don't know why so let's start with last week was it even last week yes I think it was last last week I have a feeling it's a week before but I went to like just my normal checkup and then yeah everything went well they took some blood samples and I was asking the lady like why are you taking blood samples <laughs> Because I felt like, oh, I, I, was, I was also here a few, initially they were not taking that many blood samples, so I was just like a little queen, like, already, do I still have to, <laughs> to give blood already? And they say, yes, we just want to check, you know, um, iron values and things like that, readings and things like that. And good, that was the first day. Friday morning, I woke up to a call, oh, um, can you please come back today they didn't even say today they say can you please come back asap because i had to go in me five minutes after they called me i had to get in the car and get to the doctor's place we need to take more blood samples from you it's friday morning like i literally just sat at my waiting desk and then i received that call from the doctor i was in panic i went there they didn't say anything to me, so I just entered to say good morning, yes, everything is normal. And yeah, I'll come to the lab, withdraw the blood, and they're like, okay, amazing, thank you, bye. I was like, seriously, you called me here, <laughs> and that's all? So I asked the lady, like, okay, mm, it's a little bit strange, could you please explain to me why did you guys call me here, <coughs> what is happening? And she said to me, oh, um, you know, I just, uh, we want to confirm some readings. Like she didn't give me more details on what is it, what, what. And we'll probably get back to you on Monday, but then we'll have the reading from the second samples and then we'll talk to you. Monday morning, I woke up, I think it was around eight or nine, just again, start working and Call. Oh, can you please come in and give more blood? So I was in, imagine when you're already pregnant, third trimester, or the hormones and stuff, and then all these calls and nobody's really explaining to you what is happening. I said, okay, I'll come in today around, I said I'll come in around uh, lunchtime or so because I was, I was about to start a meeting to just to, you know, to join a meeting. Good, then I hang up, then I talk to Ali and I was like, oh, this is a little bit strange because then they are calling me again and they are not even explaining like, oh, you know, maybe we found these values are a little bit high, low, whatever, uh, come in so we can do more analysis of things like that they're just like hey can you come in you need to come in today and give more samples and i still don't know what was happening i talked to ali and then i was really getting agitated and was like i called them back and i said you know what i really need to know what is happening and the lady's like um, i'm sorry you just need to come in we can't explain to you on the phone got my zoom done lunchtime i went to the doctor's place Again, the same thing. Um, here, sit down, give more sample. Thank you, bye. And I say to the lady, can you explain to me why do I have to give this many blood samples? Like, it has been 
four days and every single day I, you guys called me here and I had to give more samples and more samples and you're not explaining to me anything and she was just like oh um if you really need to know unfortunately i can't tell you so it's a nurse who's drawing blood from my body i can't tell you although it's the same person who read the report i can't tell you but i can book an appointment with a doctor so the doctor can explain to you because the only one that has the right to tell you that great i was like great I mean, it's not great, but I, I just didn't want to argue with this lady. Oh, I don't know if it was going to take me anyway. And I was already overwhelmed. So I said, okay, good. We, I took an appointment for um, Thursday. Like I had to go home and wait for a few days. Let me, uh, Monday to Thursday. And then I went back for an explanation, which was just like, oh, it's like a one minute, you need to hear it's a one minute talk. Hey. Uh, the value did look like this and we wanted to check more and I thought it could be done on the phone. But I, they sent me home, I had to wait then go back on Thursday and hear what was wrong or what was not okay with the data. But I just felt like, and they took more blood again, which I have to wait for, but I felt like when you are from Africa, now, I, I don't want to say this is like when you're black, because probably if you are from America, you're still treated differently because you're from a developed country. But when you're from Africa, I think everybody just always have this, you have the lowest literacy ever. And then, that's how I feel. I feel like, honestly, if you feel like the iron values are a little too high or they're too low, you can just say, oh, I feel, I've seen that the values are a little bit lower than usual. Maybe you should take more iron supplements or we need to take another sample to confirm the readings they didn't say that they just honestly i went there three four times just to get this things done and every time they were quiet and i was just getting overwhelmed and i had to book another extra appointment with the doctor just to get this information i felt it was it, it it made it difficult for me to go through the week because the whole week I was just like, oh, uh, uh, now what do I need to do? What is what could be what could be wrong? Because I didn't know first what sample. The doctor does a lot of Shut, I'm filming a video, please. Sorry, uh, it was not my intention. So I didn't know what is uh, wrong, and I was, you know, I was feeling down. I was feeling depressed. They took another sample. Uh, Thursday, so I have to wait again this coming like uh, tomorrow to hear what they told me about it. But yeah, it, it was a little bit difficult, and I, I have, I still honestly have a feeling like I just you get this discrimination or treatment just because you're from a developing country. And I mean, when this, when they hear Africa is like you don't know nothing, we don't probably need to explain to you nothing because you won't understand. I mean, it's I am value, but yeah. That's what it is. Anyways, yeah, that done, the week was, my hormones were all over their place, my thoughts, just because I didn't know what was going on, and they were not telling me I had to wait through out pretty much towards the end of the week to know what's going on, but we are here today, I'm feeling way better, thanks to Ali, you know, got breakfast in bed yesterday and today, super happy and is helping me out. Massaging my back, massaging my swollen feet because it's just, you know, <sighs> almost the baby is about to be here. Any, not any time soon. We still have to wait for some way, but oh boy, now I'm really feeling very pregnant. But yeah, it's a, I'm very thankful that I have also a supportive partner who is just here to help me when I need help. Let me focus. That's why I came with the notes. It has been, oh my goodness, this is also been keeping me up most of the nights with all the emotion. Discussion came up. One of the things we really wanted to do to make sure that we transform this into a home was renovating the floors in the baby room, in the, in the foyer, and in the living room. 
And we have already partially started from the beginning, initially <laughs> destroying stuff. Like we ruined, now the floor look way worse than the way we found it because we're like, oh, let's, we don't have to care about it because we are renovating it and we're going to get rid of it very soon. The same with this open space you see behind me here, the door to the living room, and then the entrance, like the hallway. Um, lockdown started, we couldn't get things done. We have already thrown, there was like a normal functional door. We have already thrown that away and the frame is also gone. So it's now just look like we leave a little bit <laughs> probably in an unfinished place. COVID started, everything closed, then our uh, discussion came up. So we were like, okay, good, you know, let's check how the prices, the property prices have actually been impacted by COVID uh, or the lockdown situation. And we saw that, for example, in our area when we bought our current house, the, the commission that you usually pay used to be seven over seven percent of the property price. And now we saw that it has definitely reduced to about half of that. So it's now just around three, I think three point something. And we thought, okay, maybe instead of putting money in the room renovation, we should try to add, to combine some of the money we wanted to do to, to, to put down for renovation with uh, maybe some of our return from our stock investment and then put that as a deposit for a new property so this is now where we are actually just thinking okay we're not doing renovations so we're going to be in this unfinished yeah scratch whatever floor as it is for i don't know how long until we really make up our mind if we want to go ahead and get the second property that we will plan to use as for as a rental property to just diversify our investment a bit instead of focusing just on stuff and yeah let's see uh previous vlog we made ali obviously got this new certificate and now uh his dream job taking up more work and i think i've never seen him working this much but yeah it's I'm about to become a full-time mom and obviously he has not to take, have to take over more work and feed three people, like the whole family. So that is also a lot and a lot is happening and, and it's a lot that is happening around this time but I couldn't be more grateful that this is happening now because this is the time we need more resources. So yeah. And that also contributes to why he's not here most of the time. And then, of course, a last update I would say is baby preparation. Finishing the baby's room and buying items that we really need initially. Maybe I bought way too many items at the beginning just by watching YouTube videos and reading. And some items are already gone in the bin and some are still. <laughs> Today I was talking to my sister and she was already like, and my best friend Esther, and she was already like, mm, this is what you need. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. this is not what I bought. <laughs> so I still, I got some stuff, but I'm realizing with time that we did not really get the things that we need. Like I saw we have like 10 different blankets for the baby and we have only... I don't know, two or three jumpsuits. So uh, definitely we need to focus on things that are important. But yeah, we'll get this. So that's, that's, I think I'll focus on that in the, probably next week and the week after. And yeah, apart from Ali working like a crazy person and me trying to balance emotion, whatever the doctor. Sometimes, honestly, I feel like the doctor's not would would make my life easier, like by just being a little bit more open and and saying things. You know, you have an idea. If 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 I have to go back to the hospital or to the doctor's place to give more blood sample, I would think I have the right to know at least because I'm pregnant. 
third trimester, I'm definitely going to have a hard time thinking about why I gave a sample the whole weekend or the whole week while I'm waiting for, for the doctor's appointment. But yeah, that's what it is. And otherwise, everything is fine. We're hoping for the best. We're grateful that we're still healthy, spending most of the time at home even though we are complaining about it. There's nothing we can do about it. It's also the best thing for us to do for ourselves and for our loved ones. And yeah, I want to hear from you. What are you guys up to in lockdown? Or you maybe, maybe you are lucky you live in countries where there's no lockdown. I know that in my home country, there is no lockdown. I think for a while now they've been People are traveling, going to work. Yeah. So, so in some countries there's no lockdown. And maybe that is a little bit lighter on the on your mental health than if you're in lockdown for a long time. And I think that's also where maybe the government has to check a bit of because being at home for this long can be draining. So if you enjoy this short update, that's what has been going on. See you in our next video. Ciao, ciao, ciao.